Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite, must-have, cannot-live-without beauty products. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing um, skincare, makeup, and hair care, and body care. So there's my top 10 must-have, like if I lost these things, if they broke, if I finished them, I have to repurchase. That's where we're going with today's video. So these aren't just like my holy grail products, these are more than that. It's like one step further. I've repurchased a ton of these multiple times and I just felt like it was something that I haven't shared with you guys. And a lot of these products I actually talk about in my favorites videos or I've used consistently in hair videos, but it's stuff that I've never really given like the limelight that they deserve, you know? They've really changed my life. I owe a lot to them, so. I did actually get this video idea from Alana Rama on YouTube. She did top 10 just like products, um, so not even beauty related, it was just like all random things that she must have. So I figured I would just make mine more beauty surrounded, because why not? I feel like I've stayed pretty strict within the beauty vicinity. Uh, I don't like to go in the outskirts of the beauty area, so um, I figured I would just stick with what I know, stick with the products that I talk about all the time. Anyways, let me just shut my mouth and let's jump into the video. Okay, we are starting off today's video. My number one product out of all of these 10 products, this is something that I have never heard anybody else talk about on YouTube. I have never seen anybody use them on YouTube. I found them randomly at Winners one day, years and years and years ago and go years and years and years ago and I cannot tell you guys how much this has changed my life I don't know why no one else talks about these or I haven't seen anybody talk about these doesn't mean that it's not out there but I haven't seen anybody talk about these don't even know what these are called but I'll try and find some for you guys online like on Amazon or something and link them down below for you I might actually have the original package somewhere but I can't find it anyways I will call these brush savers. That's what I'll call them. That's not a great name, but that's what I'm gonna call them. Every time I wash my makeup brushes, I have to have these guys. So basically what they are is like a little netting. So they're really stretchy. They come in all different shapes, all different sizes. So there's some that are a little bit skinnier, a little bit thinner, a little bit tighter, and then some that are a little bit looser. Is that inappropriate? What these are is they keep your brushes intact. They keep your brushes nice and tight. They keep the shape of your brush after you clean them. So I don't know about you guys, but when I wash my makeup brushes, they tend to lose form. They start to like splay all over the place unless I, you know, like try and put them back in form. But as they start to dry, then they kind of expand a little bit more. So these will keep them in shape and in check. Show you guys what I mean. This is a completely dry brush. It's in shape and everything but I'll show you guys what it'll look like when you put them on so basically you want to put it on at the base first because if obviously if you put it on this way you're gonna ruin your brush <laughs> you want to put it at the base first and it just stretches to the size of the brush and you start to slide it on and then you slide it forward right over the bristles so see how tight it gets and then it goes to like a little point at the end here Basically, as soon as you wash your brushes, it doesn't matter if they're still super wet, they're still gonna dry in this. At first I thought using this, it would keep all the moisture in it and it would keep them super wet until the next day, but they actually do still dry completely. So basically I'll wash my brushes at night and then the next morning um, I just take these off and they're already good to go, they're already dry, they don't stay wet or moist or anything like that. So, ugh, I can't believe I just said moist. Um, but yeah, that's basically what this product is. You can use them on eyeshadow brushes. That's what the skinnier ones are for, are for eyeshadow brushes, which is amazing for my Morphe brushes because those tend to lose shape when I wash them every single time. So I actually focus them more on the eyeshadow brushes and on my like contouring brushes, um, my bronzer brushes, because I want them to still have that really nice um, dome or tapered edge to them. I don't want them to like flare out, start to lose their shape and just start to kind of, you know, look used and then I need to buy new ones. My brushes have lasted me forever. I have not had to throw out a brush yet, which is actually really crazy when you think about it. And I actually feel like I owe it all to these little netting guys. So I will link some down below if I can find some online for you. 
but that's the first product I wanted to talk about. This is a product I cannot live without. It is definitely a product that if I lost all of these, I would have to go out and repurchase them or find them somewhere because, yeah, cannot. I don't wash my brushes without these. The next product that I can't live without is a makeup product. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a product that everyone talks about. I feel like everyone knows about it. But it's actually such a unique product and this is a product that as soon as I finish it I know I will re repurchase it. I am wearing it on my skin today. I always just put it on the high points of my face. But what's really great about this product is that it is so versatile. It has a sheer coverage so you can actually mix it in with your foundation. You could put it on all over your face before your foundation. You could put it just on the high points of your face because it has such a beautiful luminosity to it. It has such a beautiful inner glow to it. So this is actually a product that I have yet to finish up but I know as soon as I finish it up I will need to repurchase it. I have yet to also find a dupe for this. If you know a dupe of it, um, definitely leave it down in the comment section for everyone to see because um, it is definitely pricey. So if you are the type of person who just wants to stick to drugstore or affordable makeup, I completely understand that. I pretend that I can afford luxury makeup and I can't. So um, if you know of dupes, definitely share with the group. But what's really, really nice about this is that if you have textured skin, which I definitely have textured skin um, around that time of the month, and you don't want to put on a powder highlight, this is your girl. I struggled with acne for years and years and years, and of course I broke out like crazy. Um, I think it was like three days ago. I have three large red, red pimples on my chin right now, which I just covered up immaculately, I must say. But what sucks about that is that I can't put like a powdered highlight over it because it will just accentuate those pimples. That's when this guy comes into play really nicely for me especially. I did have to powder my chin because it was looking a little bit oily with um, all of the products that I already put on previously and I don't mind when like my forehead and my cheeks look really glossy and oily but for some reason my chin it just doesn't work <laughs> so I did powder it a little bit but you can see that it's not completely matte there is still a really nice sheen and I didn't powder my cheeks or my forehead at all so you can really see how this just peeks through the foundation I am wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation which is a full full coverage foundation I really pack that on so if you're worried about putting this on and then putting a full coverage foundation over top and it covering that glow up it won't I promise you I've used it with matte foundations full coverage foundations glowy foundations whatever it may be this always always shows through so that's another really big plus for me. I thought that because I use full coverage foundations that this wasn't going to work for me. You weren't going to see it, but it hella peeks through. So I always put this on before my foundation. I feel like this just makes my skin look super healthy, um, really hydrated and really plump in a good way. So yeah, this has definitely been a staple in my makeup vanity and I don't have another product in my vanity like this. I've got tons of foundations, different mascaras, different bronzers formulas, everything of like every other aspect in my vanity except for this. This is definitely unique. Um, it's definitely, I think, innovative and top notch. Okay, next up, skincare product that I absolutely cannot live without. I always make sure I have these in my bathroom. As soon as I start to see that I'm going to run out, I repurchase them. These are the Dr. Jart uh, face masks and they are absolutely phenomenal. Now, face masks and skincare, obviously, totally personal preference, really depends on your skin type and maybe these break you out, maybe they don't work with you or your skin, but they really, really work with me. This whole brand really, really works well for my skin and I'm just obsessed with Dr. Jart. But his sheet masks specifically are the only sheet masks I will use. They are the best of the best. I actually notice a difference when I use them. I feel that they're working when they're on my skin and it's just such an experience when I use them. I get excited when I use them because I know I'm gonna see some positive changes in my skin, which is always a plus. They're definitely more pricey, of course. Um, I try to catch them when they're in a bundle. They sell them in like kits sometimes, usually around Christmas time. Um, but if not, just kind of go for the thing that you need most. So they have like clearing solution, wrinkles, hydration, and whatever kind of sparks your needs, then obviously try those ones out first. 
but I really like testing all of them out and so far so good. I actually haven't used one that I haven't liked. I just used the correcting um, one the other day and I noticed as soon as I took it off of my skin and I rubbed the excess serum into my skin that my pores just looked like they shrunk which I remember watching somebody um, like a skincare person on YouTube, I'm sorry I don't remember who it was, and they said their pore correcting things and like things that say that they'll shrink your pores will never actually shrink your pores and that it's not actually possible which I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but this shrunk my pores. May have been temporary, but that's fine. I'm just saying it shrunk my pores. So I have the wrinkle solution, brightening solution, soothing solution, and peeling solution. I have the clearing solution that I used up, so I do need more of those, but whenever I break out around my period, I use the clearing solution one, which I of course couldn't use this time. Maybe that's why my chin is all up in my business right now. I ran out of it, but usually when it's around my period, that's when I use the clearing solution one. Ooh, that thing, I swear, it just like, it's like, yeah, no problem, I got you, and it takes them right off your face. These are magical, absolutely magical. I do have combination um, skin. I have an oily T-zone, dry everywhere else, like so dry. Um, and then I have sensitive skin as well. So in that I break out and I get really red when I irritate my skin or when I touch my skin, basically anything touches my skin it gets red um, so just to give you guys kind of a little bit of a background on my skin and that these masks work for me the next product is uh, beauty blenders or beauty sponges whatever you will I cannot live without these <laughs> um, I have tried applying my foundation with a brush it just doesn't work for me I feel like it smears everywhere it makes things blotchy it leaves like patches on my skin but I find that beauty sponges, when you wet them and then you go in and you blend out your foundation or your concealer, it just makes everything look so seamless and so flawless. So even if you find that a brush works well for you and blends everything out, um, I have tried a brush and then using a beauty sponge over top to kind of smooth everything out. And I feel like even that just works in and of itself. So if you're new to makeup, you're not sure if you should do a brush or a sponge, of course, try both. See what works well for you. But if you have never tried a beauty sponge, it honestly changed the game for me. I remember my friend Chelsea used a beauty blender and I was like, oh my god, I don't know how you're using that. I could never use that. And she was like, girl, use it. And I used it and I said, thank you so much. You've changed my life. And I have not looked back since. I think that was in 2013. So um, beauty sponges in general, phenomenal products, no matter what brand. So this is the Morphe sponge absolutely amazing i think it's ten dollars on sephora's website in canada um probably ten dollars on morphe site and then the real beauty blender which is about 26 dollars canadian so i really really like the morphe one a lot of people hate it a lot of people love it you you have both ends of the spectrum but obviously test out your options there's also the real technique sponge which is sponge which is really really good um, from the drugstore as well so test out the options but that is something that changed the game for me and I refuse to live without it. Okay, let's go to hair. So next is the Herbal Essence Beautiful Bold Hold Hairspray. Boom. This also changed my life years and years and years ago and I've used it in my hair tutorials on my channel. I'm sure I mentioned it in one of my favorites videos years ago but when I curled my hair and I had really really long hair like it was down to my hips basically and I would curl my hair, the curl would never hold, my hair was too heavy, it's also really thick so I feel like that just makes it weigh down even more and every hairspray I tried it just left like a really hard residue, a really sticky residue in my hair or it wouldn't work at all and when I went to this because of my sister's recommendation I was like wow I will never touch another hairspray in my life and I haven't. So basically every hairspray is rated on a scale from one to four of how much it holds your curl or your styling in your hair and this is a four when i saw it was four i was like okay that's really obviously that's the best it could be it's one to four i was like that's amazing but is it gonna make my hair feel like really stiff it does not it feels like you have nothing in your hair i even take it as far as curling my hair putting this in and brushing my hair out 
and it still holds so so incredibly well I've done it with my sister's hair who like she has super fine hair and it never holds a curl and I brushed it out and she was like what are you doing you cannot brush my curls out they will fall out and it didn't because of this so this is a product that I've repurchased over and over and over again and it's just something that I am completely and utterly obsessed with and in love with and we will be together till the end of time okay next up we have the NYX precision brow pencil this brow pencil if you have thick bushy eyebrows and you don't really need to fill them in you just need to kind of fill in any bald spots or give your eyes your eyebrows some kind of like dimension and you know depth to them then this is such a great product for that it comes with a little spoolie on the end which is perfect for me because i always go in and brush my brows out first before going in and doing my brows and then the actual product itself has a flat edge to it and just kind of looks like a straight line so it makes it really easy to go in and do those hair strokes but what I really love about this product is that it is so forgiving. You can go in with a really heavy hand and it won't give you those like block eyebrows or won't be overly pigmented and you can go in with a really light hand and it'll just add a little touch of color to your brows so you never feel like you're going in too hard and you can just do it really really quickly. I always go in with like varying pressures when I'm doing my brows depending on the spot of my brows that I'm doing so if it's a really sparse area where maybe I've got a big bald spot I go in pretty heavy and just kind of run over it a couple of times but if it's an area where it's pretty bushy it's pretty dark I don't really need a ton of product I'll just go in with a really light hand and just kind of like three strokes and I'm done um, so I feel like I can't really speak on this for somebody who has like no eyebrows and you have to draw your actual full eyebrow. I don't know if this would be the product that you would want to go for, um, but for somebody who has thicker eyebrows, bushier eyebrows, you're just filling in those sparse areas, giving yourself a little bit more shape, um, I highly suggest checking this product out. This is my second one, and I know as soon as I finish it, I will be repurchasing another one. Next up, I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. This one is actually for dry and sensitive skin. I don't even know what bottle I'm on of this, like it must be bottle 10 now. I use this every night before going to bed, before doing my skincare routine. This is just such a staple product that I wanted to share with you guys because I don't think that I've given it the limelight that it needs. I know my cellar water is highly talked about on YouTube and for a good reason. So I think people use my cellar water for multiple reasons, different reasons, depending on your skincare and where it fits in your into your routine. For me, I use it to actually take off excess makeup. So first I will go in with my cleansing balm, I will take all of my makeup off, but typically there's still residue left over and I don't want to go in immediately to my cleanser and just be rubbing my makeup all over my face. So I actually go in with a large cotton pad with my cellar water on it and I just take off any excess makeup that I have left on my skin and let me tell you, you will be shocked at how much makeup is left over after you take off your makeup with a wipe or a balm, whatever it may be, you'll be shocked. There's so much gunk left over, I'm always shocked. It also just really helps with getting into the areas where my hair is, my hairline. That's typically where I miss some product when I'm taking my makeup off, especially my jawline or my neck, anything like that. It just really, really gets the areas that I may have missed or just any leftover makeup on my face. So. If you have yet to try this out, it's definitely a more affordable product, so I would highly suggest it, but this is something that is a staple I can't see ever not having in my skincare routine, and it's something that I have repurchased over and over and over again. They do have some that are for like combination skin, oily skin as well, so in case you're curious, they do have it for all different skin types. And also a huge, huge like seller for me on this product is that it is oil free, alcohol free and fragrance free. So I cannot stand like a ton of oil on my face. Um, it just drives me nuts and it tends to break me out. Uh, I don't like fragrance in my skincare and alcohol dries you out. So this is just a top notch skincare product for me. Okay, next up is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is a product that I'm sure everyone has heard about on YouTube. But honestly, for really, really good reason. This is such a beautiful lip sleeping mask. I've tried every lip balm under the sun and honestly, nothing compares to this for me. You can wear this during the day, absolutely. I've totally done that. I apply it honestly sometimes like three times throughout the day just because I'm so high maintenance. 
but I also sit and just start biting my lips. It's a really bad habit and it's honestly a really bad habit that's hard to break. I've tried to cut cold turkey and I can't. Also, it tastes good, so it also makes me bite my lips more. <laughs> so I have mine in the scent grapefruit. It also has just like a little bit of a pink tint to it, but it doesn't really tint my lips, I don't find. Um, I have used this every night before bed. I'm not joking when I say I use it every single night. It is the last part of my skincare routine, and I feel like I still have so much product in here, I don't know how. It's insane to me. So what's really great about this is that it actually comes with a little spatula, which I personally love. I think it's a really great touch to this because it just helps with keeping everything um, really clean, bacteria free, that sort of thing. So it does come with this in a little pouch instead of going in with your finger, which I don't love doing. So it's also kind of like, I hate having residue on my finger. So it's nice that you don't have to like clean your hands after and clean your finger off with this, you know? But anyways, I would say I would repurchase this, but I don't even know when I'm going to need to repurchase it because, like, I don't even see the end of time with this. I can't believe how much product is in here. I can't believe it's lasted me this long because I legitimately use it every single night. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. It makes my, my lips feel so luscious, so hydrated, so moisturized. And when I wake up the next morning, they actually feel, like, rejuvenated. They don't feel dry anymore. They feel really, really fresh and um, healthy. So if you haven't gone on the bandwagon yet, highly recommend joining in. Next product is a body care product. This is the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. Whew, this is my third bottle and I just started using it like last summer, I wanna say. The beginning of last summer. I go through this like it's no one's business. Every time I shave my legs, I um, shave my underarms, and I'm doing like a full kind of self-care bath type of deal, I go in with this, and it is the most beautiful, gentle scrub, and it makes my skin feel so baby smooth, it's insane. On top of that, I am such a fan of Way Scents. I think that they have some of the best scented products out there, like consistently. So I feel like there's not one product out there that smells bad. Yeah, mm. this to me smells like summer. Just looks like so nothing crazy exciting, but I use just a little bit, like a quarter size amount um, for my body. I try not to use too much. When I first got it, I went in and just like basically used half of the tub and went crazy, which was unnecessary. So you don't need a ton of product, less is more. Um, but yeah, I use this and then I either go in with the Way Body Cream or the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. Either one is phenomenal and they should also be in this video to be honest. <laughs> um, I love using this, especially for after the sun. We have a pool and every time I go in the pool, I lather my body in oil and sunscreen and when I come in, I just feel really sticky and gross and like pruney because I've been in the pool. And so I always have a shower and I wipe myself down with this. And honestly, my skin just looks so healthy from like the sun touching it. And then from this, it's just the best combination. The sun and this are the best. So I figured it would be the perfect time to also show you guys this because if you're looking for something to get any kind of like dead skin off, and to have that really nice summer skin, this is a really good start, okay? Last, but certainly not least, are these Morphe lip liners. I've definitely heard people talk about these, but I still feel like they aren't getting the hype they deserve. I feel like Morphe has kind of a bad rep for affiliates, who they choose to affiliate themselves with, um, but right now, it is just about makeup. We're keeping it about cosmetics, and they deliver when it comes to lip liners. So even if you aren't a Morphe fan, change your ways because <laughs> these are so good, you guys. I, these are my favorite lip liners in the world. These have replaced my Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. They've replaced my MAC lip liners, my Kylie lip liners, my ColourPop lip liners. These are the best of the best in my collection. So. The reason I love these so much is because they are so creamy, but they're not going to bleed on you throughout the day, they don't smudge throughout the day, and when you're putting them on, like the first time I put it on I was like, oh my god, this is so creamy, it's just going to slip right off. Mm -mm. 
it did not. It lasts so well throughout the day, it is such a long lasting lip liner. Their color selection is phenomenal and they're actually really big lip liners as well so they're going to last me a really long time. Um, and they also sharpen really well, which is something super random to like about a lip liner. But I have discovered that there are some lip liners that just don't sharpen as well and then you end up losing product because it pops off or it breaks off or whatever it may be and I've never had an issue with these sharpening. They are just quite honestly the best of the best. I think they've just definitely thought about every aspect of these lip liners and put them into a product, into one product and I love them so 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 much. So the shades that I have are Frenchie, Love Bite, and Backseat Love and I remember talking about Love Bite on my channel and saying that it was too brown for me but now that I've gotten more comfortable with wearing like brownie nudes and I actually think I owe my thanks to Love Bite for that. Um, I'm loving it so much. I think it's such a beautiful wearable brownie nude and it's not a scary or intimidating one, if that makes sense. Today I'm actually wearing Frenchie and I just... <sighs> my heart lies with the Morphe lip liners. I honestly can't say anything bad about them. So I will just swatch them for you guys. So this is Backseat Love. Boom. Creamy goodness. This is Love Bite. Oh, can you see just how easily those are going on? And this is Frenchie, which is what I'm wearing today. Like, boom. What? These are all the lip liners. So, uh, Frenchie, Love Bite, Backseat Love. Backseat Love is definitely more of like a peachy toned um, lip liner. The Love Bite is more of a brownie nude and then Frenchie is more of a pinky nude. This is definitely something that's more like everyday wear for me. This is like a little bit of a step up when I'm feeling like a little bit edgy 90s vibe. And then this one is definitely more of a like summer color for me. I'm not a huge huge fan of like peachy undertones on my lips but for some reason this one just works for me. So yes, love, 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 love. Okay you guys, so that concludes my video on my top 10 must have, cannot live without beauty products. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was actually so fun to film and to share these products with you guys because I feel so strongly about them all. We have such a deep connection and strong connection so I'm so happy to share that with you guys. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any video suggestions, definitely um, put them in the comment section down below. I would love to know what you guys would like to see from me, and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm. Mm. These are the dark, dark, dark. I'm so wetting. <laughs> and rubbed it into the excess. Um, oh my god. Oh my god, it's not even summer yet and I'm already sweating. <laughs> so basically every hairspray is rated on a, sched a schedule. <laughs> Honestly, like I don't know, is this highlight or is it sweat? <laughs>